welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new. My name is Kristen and today's video is going to be an update on my applying interview process for this upcoming school year and all the books I read since January. So February, March, and then a little bit of April. So stay tuned and get ready. All right, so update on my interview and applying process. I officially have my first interview. Uh, today is Monday. April 17th. So my interview is Wednesday, April 19th. Um, it's via Zoom since we are looking to move back home. So I'm really nervous but excited. So I just have like some things that I, you know, might want to talk about or things I've been trying to figure out, like questions they might ask me. And like some things that I came up with were like I was making things of like my strengths, my weaknesses, Maybe some things that I did well or different from student teaching to this first year or like different things I did transitioning um, from student teaching to a building sub to the position I am in now, which I talked about in my last video, which is a little different than just like your normal like five um, classes of like algebra one or geometry or something like that. It's a little different. So I explained that in my last video. Um, I also wrote down like for my growth plan I did this year, I did data tracking and I tried a couple of different ways and reflected on that through my growth plan. So I wrote that down as something that I can remember to bring up if they ask questions about that. Um, I created a game in student teaching I thought would be cool to write down or bring up if that arises to a question that they ask. Um, different ways I reviewed, so like trash get ball, you know, different flip books or different games that I created and um, did with my students. I wrote down all the different technology that I use, whether it's Quizlet, IXL, GimKit, Blookit, Schoology, Google Classroom, Infinite Campus, all the different um, things I've had experiences with. I wrote that down. The one thing that I am struggling with is good questions to ask them. I feel like at the end of every interview, they always ask, oh, do you have questions for us? And I want to prepare some good questions. I've been looking at their website and different things. So I've been trying to come up with some good questions. I could ask them maybe like related to like, how long have they been at the school district? How would they describe it to somebody coming in? Do you have good mentorship? Are parents involved a lot? Um, maybe like, is the population at your school growing or declining or, you know, staying at a steady rate? Um, different things like that. So if you have any suggestions of good questions I could ask them at the end of the interview, comment them below and I'll be sure to check it out. So that's just some exciting news. I'm excited for my interview. I will keep you updated on that and I hope it goes well. Um, but we're excited. Let's talk books now. So since January, I've read a lot of books, but the first one I read um, since January was Things We Never Got Over. And then a couple books later, I read Things We Hide From The Light. I still have to read the third book, but these two are really, really good. This book, Naomi, and she has a twin sister that's like complete opposite of her. And they go to this small town and like obviously in small town, all this drama happens. You know, everybody knows everybody. Everyone's got, you know, back history or backstory. Um, so it kind of goes back and forth with her and her sister and bad things, good things, different things like that. There is a lot of romance in here quite a bit of spicy scenes, which I love. Um, the last half, I really could not put down. It was so good, five out of five, loved it. Um, this book I read a few after that, and this is the take on Lena's story from the first book. So you meet her from the first book, or in the first book, and this book is based on her story, her background, and I actually really liked reading about like her character development was like amazing. Like so many things happened and like, I didn't really know where it was going, but it was really cool to hear her open up about her background and where she came from and how well it fit into the whole storyline. Um, I do have to go and get the third one, which is on my list of to be read next. Um, it's the third one, but yes, I recommend both of these. And then in between those, I read a few books. So the first one, was Love in Other Words. Now, I didn't really know anything about this book when I bought it. I just thought, oh my God, this cover is so cute, so adorable. Like, how can you not freaking love this book? Like, it is so cute. It's got like shiny and like matte stuff. The color scheme is awesome. Um, so I'm Christina Lauren. A lot of her books are really cute and I didn't really notice that, but I really like that. And that's why I bought this book. But 
not knowing anything about it. And it's about Macy and Elliot, and they grew up together. Um, it goes way back. It has alternating points of time points. So it goes from then versus now. And I actually really like that because it made me wanting to keep reading. So like I would read something that was now and then it would go back to then, but I wanted to go back to now. So I had to keep reading and it was actually really good. Um, it, it has some romantic love story going on. And five out of five, I shed some tears at the end. I definitely, definitely cried at the end of this book. And that's how you know it's a good book. Um, but I'll read some of the back. It says, Macy Sorison is settling into an ambitious, if emotionally tempting routine. Work hard as a new pediatrics resident, planning her wedding to an older, financially secure man. Keep her head down and heart tucked away. But when she runs into Elliot, don't know how to say his last name, the first and only one love of her life, the careful bubble she's constructed begins to dissolve. Once upon a time, Elliot was Macy's entire world, growing up for her gangly, bookish friend into the man who coaxed her heart open again only to break it on the very night he declared his love for her. Told in alter alternating timelines between then and now, teenage Ellie and Macy grows from friends to much more, spending weekends and lazy summers together in a house outside San Francisco, devouring books, sharing favorite words, and talking through their growing pains and triumphs. As adults, they become strangers to one another until their chance reunion. Although their memories are obscured by the agony of what happened that night so many years ago, Elliot will come to understand the truth behind Ma Macy's decade-long silence and will have to overcome the past in himself to revive her faith in the possibility of all-consuming love. There is a deep secret in here and I did not see it coming. It was a shock, let me tell you, but it was so good. And it made me mad. It really made me mad, but then you understand it and it was just, it was everything. This book is also a really good summer read. Like, I would read this in the summer. Like, I will reread it this summer, definitely. Okay, so I started a series, and I wasn't sure if I was going to like it, so I bought one book at a time. And it is the Throne of Glass series by Sarah J. Mass. Moss, Mass. Anyway, I read a Court of Thorns and Roses series, and I absolutely loved it. Now, obviously, I've heard things that this is very similar or that this is not as good or whatever it may be. But I'm like, you know what? I'm going to try it. I don't usually, you know, do so much fantasy as romance, but I thought I would try it and I bought the first book. Now, these do take a while to for me to get into. I don't know if it's just a first book because the same thing happened to A Court of Thorns and Roses where it took me a long time to get into that first book and to read it. But once you did, I could fly through the rest. And I think it's just all that character development, all that plot building, all the background, all the histories in that first book. So it just takes a while for me to get through the first book, but it was actually really good. Um, it was good enough for me to buy the second book. Um, so Crown of Midnight, I did just finish this book. Like this book I finished last week and this book was way better. I think I will buy the third one because the cliffhanger in this made me wanting to read the third one. Like I wanted to go to Barnes and Noble that day and go get it, but it was like 10 o'clock at night. So, um, that is on my list to get maybe this week is the third book of this. There's eight books. So I don't know if I will read all eight in a row, which I already know I'm not because I already started another book, but that's besides the point. Um, one book that I did read that I cannot put here that was literally my absolute favorite, I will insert a picture because I do not have it because I gave it to my mother-in-law to read, was Archer's Voice. If you read Archer's Voice, you know what I'm talking about. It is so good. It is like the best thing I've ever read. Holy smokes is all you can say about it. I would read you the back. I don't have it, um, but maybe I'll include that in my next video. But I will say I did pre-order Travis and I did get it the day it came out. And since I just finished the second book of Throne of Glass, I just started Travis, which is, you know, the next book or Travis's point of view for Archer's voice. I just started it like only like five pages in, but I'm so excited to read it. I hope it is as good as Archer's voice. Like the storyline, the plot, the characters, everything was so good. I've cried every emotion in there. I got mad. It was a very good book. That was recommended actually by my wedding photographer and softball coach kind of thing. It was actually really good. I'm so glad she recommended it because it was so good. Um, but yeah, so those are all the books I have read in since January. So like February, March, and then part of April. I will update you with the third book of this, maybe the third book of these, and then Travis. I also ordered or got the Dreamland Dreamland Billionaire series. 
Um, I've heard good things. I got the first book of that. I believe there's only three books, but I got the first one of that. So that's also on my list to read in the next coming months or month. Softball has been taking up my life. Today we didn't have a game, so I'm able to film this video. The weather is crazy. It is no longer 70 degrees. It is like 38 degrees. It was hailing. It's windy. It's storming. It's raining. So our game got canceled today. So perfect time for me to film this video. But softball has been consuming my life along with getting ready for this interview. And I just wanted to have, you know, hop on and share with you my update. So I'll see you guys next video. Thank you for watching.